everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Hope you're all having a good weekend so far. I have here a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I've put down my base coat of Artisloft Flow Acrylic White and I mixed in two tablespoons of Dutch Boy Forever Acrylic Enamel. I'm trying to get like maybe a cloudy effect today. Let's go over the balance of my paints. I have Modern Masters Venetian Blue, real pretty color, and also the Modern Masters Ferro Gold. I've used this only one other time, and it's a real light gold, not real uh, get-in-your-face kind of gold, more muted. And I have Blick Metallic Magenta. And my last paint is a Porage Posse Paint Morning Pansy Shimmer. All my paints today are mixed seven part mix, one part paint, and quite a bit of water added. Um, it's, a, it's a watery consistency here. I'm going to be doing a ribbon pour again, doing some tipping, maybe some blowing out. I'm just not sure, we'll, we'll just see how this goes. I've been wanting to experiment with thinner paints lately. And uh, I've really been enjoying it. So just gonna be laying my paints down here. All of my paints today are that thin consistency. No silicone added today. And next we'll add that Venetian blue, so very beautiful. I really like using the Modern Masters paints. Good quality. And I do know that Michaels was having a clearance on these paints, so if you're lucky enough you're local Michaels still has them. You should be able to get them on a clearance price. I'm not sure I'll be doing swiping today. I might use my palette knife. Again, we'll just have to see how much we want to play with these paints here today. This is the metallic magenta. And last is the sparrow's gold. Okay, so I'm going to give it a quick torch here before we start tipping. I'm not going to add any of the base coat right now. Let's just see how the paint moves around without it, without more added. Okay, so far that's looking really, really pretty. I think I will add a little bit more paint down here also. Just a little bit. You can do a little bit of tipping down here. Okay, let's give that a little tip here. Let me 
bring it all back. Okay, just gonna take a look at what we have here. And I think I'm going to get out my small, small, the smallest leaf blower. And I'm going to leave the little nozzle on for now. To see if we can uh, soften some of this up or what we bring out here. If you do know me, I like the wispies. I like to pull my colors out. Excuse me a moment. Alexa, stop. Pardon me on that. I don't know why that started. Yeah, I'm really liking how those edges are coming out like that. Just moving that paint. I guess you could say this has some Dutch pour characteristics to it because I am blowing the paints out so much, as you do in a Dutch pour. I like using this little leaf blower because I think I have a little bit more control than I do with my big blower, big hair dryer. And with this, I can choose which parts I really want to blow out and what I want to leave as is. Because when I use the blow dryer, it's almost like all or nothing. Such a wide range of air. Okay, that's looking really, really pretty in here. I think I'm going to turn this around. And just work on this, this side of the painting here.
magenta is really, really adding a lot to this painting. Beautiful color. And I like how the gold is around the edges here. It's kind of muted around the edges. Okay, I think I'm just going to take a look at it now. I'm going to bring it back this way. And I'm just going to work on this corner a little bit. I want to try and improve this. Hopefully you're seeing that okay in camera. Okay, I'm going to fix up this little spot here that has this magenta on it. show you another quick little added bonus you can do with a painting like this. I'm just going to take my smallest little palette knife here, dip it in a color paint. This time I'm, I'm choosing this purple. And you can just run your lines down just to give it a little added something for the eye to look at. Or you can just add, help your paint move the paint that's there. Move it around a little bit. enhancing the painting a little bit. And I am wiping off my little palette knife in between.
Just a few more of these, I think, and then I'll be finished. I really do like the composition of this painting here. I think I'll give it a torch. Maybe I'll just tip a little bit here back and forth. Move the paints a little bit. Okay, and now I'll give it a torch. run my finger around the bottom here clean off any paint that happens to be dripping and we'll get you down for a close-up Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up, and this is the upper left-hand corner. And you can see where I was talking about that gold being muted on the outsides there. There's an example right there, so pretty. Just going down the left-hand side. And I'll take you over the whole painting here. All the colors did play very well together. Pretty in here. Very pretty in here. I really do like that wispy look. Pretty in here too. And now this is the lower right hand corner here. Going up the right hand side. Really pretty in here too. Got a little bit of muted look here. Magenta played really well with everything. This is the upper right hand corner. I do like it in here too. Okay, so let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time I do post a new video. I do appreciate you watching today. Thank you to all my watchers and my subscribers and helping my channel grow. And subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.